Now why? Because we tell them the Quran and the Sunnah. And we want everything uh, fast. Uh, immediately. Allah, I'm going for hardship. Cure me today. Remove the hardship today. How much I'm going for hardship for nearly 20 years. Only Allah knows and some brothers knows about it. You know, people fix themselves, there's no problem. Ah, alhamdulillah. But you know, I try my best. You know, I go up and down this world. I'm human being like you. You know, but what I do, what helps me a lot, reading Quran. Wallahi, when you read the Quran, especially when you listen to the recite Ahmed Al Ajmi, I don't know if he's still alive. If he's he dead, Rahimahullah. If he's still alive, may Allah give him tawfiq. Uh, the other recites as well. Uh, Mahal Mu'aqli. Good recites, you know. And you listen to the Mahi. Quran takes you out of oppression and depression to justice, spiritual justice. Two, takes you to uh, relaxation. If you want to enter the garden or Jannah for dunya, listen to Quran and read the Quran. Wallahi, akhi, the Quran, Surah Qaf, Al-Waqi'a, Surah Hud, and Nabi alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Shayyabatni Surah Hud. Surah Hud made, made my hair gray. Yes, Akhi. Surah Yunus, Surah Ibrahim. Subhanallah, this surah, powerful surah. The whole Quran is powerful. Huh? Surah Sad, Surah Tur, like was the other chapters of the Quran. When you listen to the Quran and reflect upon it, you know, we have everything. Literally, you can be sitting at home and you can order food and everything. But depression is very high. Stress is very high. Committing suicide is very high. They said the happiest country in the world, Sweden and Japan. But guess what? In both these countries, suicide is very high. So how do you happy? Yeah, suicide is very high in Japan. They have a place. And, 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 uh, and, uh, in, uh, in Japan and Sweden. Why? Because, because you know why? Because they become too material. And there's a lot, you know, when you have no God in your life, because there's something within ourselves, nothing will fulfill it except by worshipping God and following God's teaching. So we have to learn, my brothers. Read the Quran. You know, subhanAllah. You know, we have, uh, uh, like I mentioned many times, we have the these politicians, some of them, or majority of them, study in the best universities around the world, yet they cannot resolve the problems that we are facing. But when you go back to the Quran, solution for every problem. Alhamdulillah. So I advise you to read the Quran, listen to the Quran, Alhamdulillah. You know, as something, uh, even when I was young, Alhamdulillah, I used to love to listen to the Quran. That's why I remember my story, I told you how I'm, there's one verse in my Jahiliyyah, I used to always remember. It's what Zumar. أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتُ الْآنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجْدًا وَقَائِمًا يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةَ وَيَرْجُ رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ قل هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون إنما يتذكر أولو الألباب. This verse, I used to listen to the Quran from before, but this verse stuck with me in my jahiliya time. At night time when I'm coming back from central London, five o'clock in the morning, I used to always remember this verse when Allah is mentioning أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتُ الْآنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَيْجُنْ وَقَائِمًا Allah speaking about someone who is praying night prayer, standing and in the sujood. يَحْذَرُ الْآخِرَةَ وَيَرْجُ رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ Fearing the heat after and hoping for Allah. وَيَرْجُ رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ Hoping for Allah's mercy. So I said, look at the life that I'm living. And this verse is a powerful verse. I tried my best to get out of that lifestyle, but I couldn't. Because why? My environment was not helping me. But I ended up going to prison. As Allah said, Asa and Takra wa Shaykh wa Huwaish. Khayyun lak. Wa Huwaish. That's how we speak sometimes. So doesn't mean Ish is part of the verse. Naam. Like you want to get the people to be involved with your discussion. Interact with you. Understand? So perhaps the Shirk Billah, blurry, the Kufr Billah. Yeah, don't leave this Kufr Billah. Shirk Billah. And Jesus is free from this Kufr, this paganism, this uh, Roman Catholic uh, business. Worship of a cross. Yeah. Jesus worshiped him. Jesus never worshiped himself or the cross. Jesus worshiped Allah. Allah. Anyway, anyway, we don't worship black stone, you idiot. 
We don't bother to black story, idiots. <laughs> Let me for it. As a Muslim, if I kiss my mother's head, Allah forgive my sins if I do it in full respect. So that's it. Biggest pagan for worship pattern of paganism. Anyway, so my point here is that this verse reminds Alhamdulillah what happened. I went to prison and Allah said, perhaps you hate something which is good for you. Something that uh, perhaps you hate something which is good for you. Alhamdulillah, I go off that lifestyle, Alhamdulillah. So there's brothers out there who are struggling uh, other than in prison. And we have to make video for our brothers in prison. Because, you know, some of them, especially they have no family to come to visit them. You have to remind them, look, try my brothers who are in prison. May Allah make it easier for you. But what I will say to you, that is a lesson. So when you're in prison, utilize your time wisely. Alhamdulillah, but Allah's tawfiq. I remember when I was in prison, Islam was very strong there. I remember once in my wing, all the brothers were there. They gave the, the TV, TV. They said, take the TV away from us. We don't want it. And we say, let us hear. Say, let us finish the Quran. You know, Alhamdulillah. You know, so, ah, ah, I don't entertain uh, donkey, man. Even. So anyway, the shaykh is, my brothers out there, utilize your time wisely. If you have people out, outside, you can, you, can, you can get in contact with you to send you books to read, read. And try to memorize the Quran there. Try to utilize the time wisely. And read the story of Yusuf A.S. Yusuf A.S. was in prison without any reason. Subhanallah. Was oppressed Yusuf A.S. How many years? Seven years in prison. Yusuf A.S. What did he do? When Yusuf was in prison. He started complaining about Fir'aun or Abu Al-Aziz or the king of Mesno. Where he said, he called people to worship in Allah. Look at Yusuf A.S. When he went to prison, he never started complaining about social injustice. Why he called people to? To worship Allah alone. And you know, I remember when I was in prison, there was a brother, uh, uh, I think he's still inside, he got 40 years. And uh, I remember he said, I will never become Muslim. And Alhamdulillah, he became Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, the shade is that you brothers out there who are Muslims or reverts, and study your deen, learn Islam, and give da'wah in prison with a good way, respectful, you know. May Allah bless you and may Allah make it easy for all of you and may Allah make it easy for your parents too. And please don't go to prison, you come out worse. Learn a lesson from that. You know, remember you have your mother outside caring about you, your father, your parents, or your wife and your children. You know, I know something that happens, maybe you have to defend your family and you end up in prison. Alhamdulillah. That's from Islam, no problem with that, you know? And your family should be patient upon that. But the worst thing when you're carrying knives and, and drugs and, and selling drugs and you go in prison and you have a family, you have parents, you know? And no one is perfect. All of us will fall into haram, mistakes. But we should learn from our mistakes, my brothers. Learn, our, learn from our mistakes and make it sober sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, like I said, try to study and utilize your time wisely. May Allah bless you all. You know, prison is, is, is a good place for da'wah. For Allah, yaqi. It's a lot of non-Muslims there, but you need knowledge. Because, you know, listen? in prison... Are they listen there when... They yeah, you do, yeah, yaqi. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of people say Islam in prison. I, I was in prison in 2005. Islam was going to... Yaqi. When you go inside prison, they don't ask you, where are you from? They don't ask you, where are you from? They ask, are you Muslim? Who was very strong. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, people accept Islam. Because, you know, when you're in prison, on the cell, you have a time to reflect. You know, you you've been isolated. And if you go, okay, what I'm here for? What is my purpose? You know, what's going on? I'm going to die. Why do I have to die? If I'm traveling to a country I've never been there before, what I'm going to do? I'm going to step back. I want to go to Algeria, which currency they use. Okay. Uh, it's a safe country. Is it summertime now? Is it cold now? Is it winter? You understand? Don't just get get plane and go. And when you get there, you, 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 you don't even have a visa. You have to study first. Likewise, we're going to die. Why do I have to die? What is my purpose of life? Why well, I'm here? What is Islam? Who is this man, Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu was salam? You know, it reflects. That's why Islam is, even America, Islam is very strong. Subhanallah. Because Islam goes in line with the sound reasoning. 